Hi everyone, my name is Danny, and this movie review is going to be for Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. From the imagination of Wizarding World creator J.K. Rowling comes the Fantastic Beast film series, Magical Adventures, set before the time of Harry Potter. At the end of the first film, the powerful dark wizard Gellert Grindelwald was captured by Makuza with the help of Newt Scamander, but making good on his threat, Grindelwald escaped custody and has set about gathering followers, most unsuspecting of his true agenda, to raise pure blood wizards up to rule over all non-magical beings. In an effort to thwart Grindelwald's plans, Albus Dumbledore enlists his former student, Newt Scamander, who agrees to help, unaware of the dangers that lie ahead. Lines are drawn as love and loyalty are tested, even among the truest friends and family, in an increasingly divided wizarding world. This is directed by David Yates. It stars Eddie Redmayne, Catherine Waterston, Dan Fogler, Allison Siddall, Ezra Miller, and Johnny Depp, and... Jude Law, and some other people. So, that's the online version. Um, the Danny version is that all that is fine. The storyline, the characterization, the feuding, the, the, you know, the escape of the prisoner, all that's fine. It was handled fine. The characters are fine. The all the computer work with all the creatures and uh kind of the friends of, you know, Newt, they're all fine. I enjoyed it. I when I kind of felt the action picking up, all that stuff is fine. Um there's a part where they're kind of like blowing stuff up. There's a couple times when uh, the whole town kind of has something fly over it. Uh, it's cool. It's magical. Everybody's kind of used to it. There aren't, but there isn't much reaction to this thing happening. Um, like Harry Potter was all really kind of famous about. You know, I mean, even though it's something magical, you still like had a reaction to it. And uh, these people are just so like stoic. And so, but, you know, every time you feel the action picking up, everything is fine. Everything's handled great. That's a long description of what this movie is, and it kind of covers everything. And uh, so I don't want to give too much more away because I know everybody is kind of, you know, followers of the wizarding world. And whenever a movie comes out, everybody wants to see it. Um I'm just going to say that I was bored out of my freaking mind. And I'm serious. Because I can't tell you all the ways that I was bored out of my freaking mind. But I was bored out of my freaking mind. Like, if you're going to like have a movie with professional actors, you can have them do more than just stand in a half circle talking to each other. You can have more than quick little replies that we can barely understand, Redmayne. And, you know, then you can have, like, more than just, like, two-word replies. Um, you know, I'll kind of leave it at that. But if you enjoyed this movie, like, immensely, I would love to know how. Because I was really, really wondering if anything was ever going to happen. This kind of felt like one of the Harry Potter one of the Harry Potter movies where they're kind of finding out about his like backstory a little bit and like we're just having a lot of storyline 
and there's just a lot of talking and you know developing things but this is the second movie of Fantastic Beasts a we know what's coming after this movie so you can keep this movie spinning a little bit you can cover a little bit more area than what they covered um, they're little flashbacks in and out you know some of that stuff is just kind of unnecessary but my biggest thing is that what happens in this movie is handled fine the way it was but it just was so slow it's a really long movie and they kind of draw things out that's fine but it just gives you more chances for the magic you know when it finally does come it get it creates anticipation I understand what this movie did. And I don't need anybody telling me that, you know, what they did and what they, you know, had there was exciting for that reason. I just think a lot of people are going to fall asleep at this thing. They're not going to understand, you know, these references that are being thrown out. It's this is not Harry Potter. The first movie was all right. This was ridiculously bad in my opinion and i don't i know everybody's paying to go see it i know it's gonna make tons of money i'm looking forward to the third one i think it's gonna be completely different i think it's gonna be explaining some things i think there'll be a lot more happening because of a certain thing that i can't say right now in case you haven't seen the movie but i don't want to give away the ending but um, it's going to be exciting because it's about that thing at the end of the movie. So I I just think this is going to be going down in history as one of the worst sequel films. And I think people that are sitting around me kind of understood that same kind of feeling. I kind of felt that in the theater. You know, like people wanted to laugh at the funny things, but they doesn't really come out as a laugh. Uh, you know, they... Wanted to go ooh and ah at the action, but it wasn't that great. So they were just kind of sitting there watching it. Uh, it's just that kind of a movie. So there's a lot of specific stuff, and I'm not going to get into it. There's a lot of acting stuff that's just like, ugh. But um, I'm not going to get into that. So I'm going to leave it there. Fantastic Beast, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Uh, there's one major, major thing that really bugged me too, but I don't want to mention that either. It's just like they didn't pay attention to it. They just kind of skimmed over it, the idea of this in this movie. And so I'll just leave it at that. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. Um, I'm going to give this a D rating. I just will not remember this. I will not remember anything that happened in it. Uh, I, I think it's horrible uh, to do a movie like this with such big stars and have it be so slow and have it be so boring. Uh, Lord of the Rings was not like this. It had things happening. It had dialogue we could understand. It had dialogue that mattered and kept things moving. And, you know, like it, there's a lot of walking and talking and stuff. But I enjoy a movie like Lord of the Rings a lot better than I like this. So, D rating for this. I'm sorry I didn't do that earlier. But my name is Danny. If you like this or my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. And I know everybody's going to go see Fantastic Beast 2, but I can't say I, you know, I want you to keep your expectations low. That's all I'll say about that. Thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy your movies.